Queensland police are trying a new approach to stem the rising rate of domestic violence. It coincides with the unveiling of a new memorial in Brisbane. Stephanie Smale reports. Remembering those who died at the hands of their partners. They're dead. They're dead because they merely dared to love. Sonia Anderson's daughter Bianca Gervin was killed six years ago today. He strangled her to death. She joined the family and friends of other victims to unveil a memorial in the heart of Brisbane. As a community we need to say enough is enough. These deaths are preventable. It's located opposite the city's court precinct. I think it's about showing there has to be accountability. It's a massive community problem and it has to continue to be addressed. But there's concern many victims still aren't coming forward. In culturally diverse communities like here in Logan, police say language barriers can isolate victims and stop them seeking help. Probably we take for granted that people understand everything we say and that's not so. Logan police have developed a video translated into eight languages to change that. The people you trust the most can hurt you the hardest, often when no one is watching. Knowing how to ask for help, where to go to access support services and how the court system works is really important information. It's hoped the video will be used in other parts of the state too. One in five women in Queensland were born overseas. That's higher here in Logan, but we know that this is a resource that can be used by the entire Queensland community. Another step on the long road to ending family violence. Stephanie Smell, ABC News.